What? Oh, dude. Oh, hell no. You're weird. Oh, what is that? Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Yo, if you would like to see my full length reaction to this movie, any of the other movies I do, the TV shows I do, then you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. But with all that being said, everybody, let's go ahead and get into this movie reaction. Damn, yo, they get the music bumping, yo. You can definitely start a movie like that, bro. Stuff is loud. I love Amanda Bynes. I mean, who doesn't love Amanda Bynes? It's messed up what she been through, but I'm glad that she's doing better now. Man, it, yo, these opening credits right here can have you feel a little bit discombobulated. Discombobulate. Yo, this girl right here is a beast. She scored about every goal. Goal! Nice kick. Of course he has to say something like that. Aw, seems like she just has the perfect life, you know, perfect boyfriend and everything. Even though that dude's probably cheating on her. Really? Absolutely, you. Probably already. <laughs> I know that that right there was improv. He almost knocked her the hell out, but she played it off well. Golly, that girl right there is uh in the mood right there. She in heat. The school cut our team. Wait, what? Not enough girls signed up. Where's the coach at? Yo, I haven't seen him in a movie in a long time. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. You don't want to do anything. Coach, come on. You know that we're good enough. I uh don't know that that's a thing that I know. <laughs> He's always gonna play an we idiot. I do believe that there here. should be some sports where the they team. have like mixed genders, you feel me? But they should still have their own separate lockers, you know? Girls aren't as fast as boys. <laughs> what? Hey, this is not me talking. Scientific fact. No, nah, that's you trying to be Don't cool with your freaking students, man. That dude look like a Dollar General Uncle Jesse, bro. Yesterday you told me that I was better than half the guys on your team. I never said that. What? This boy over here stuttering and stuff. You should know that he's lying. Hell yeah, break up with that dude. If he's really gonna sell you out like that, that's messed up. I'm looking for Sebastian. Where is he? Tell him to give me a call if he wants to stay in it. Okay. Does he have your number? 1 800 B. <laughs> I like the little snarky laugh that Amanda Bynes did. Why do these movies always gotta have the blonde be the bitch? You feel me? And they always try to make her, the blonde seem like she's just the baddest girl in the school when the main character is always more attractive than her. How could I wind up with a daughter who only wants to kick a muddy ball around a field all day? I mean, yo, your daughter could have went pro, you feel me? Been making some good money. Could have got her a gold medal. I dumped him. Why? He's so handsome and chiseled and great. Mom, he's a kid. She really thinking about it. Oh my God, mom is sick. I haven't seen her in a movie or a TV show in a minute too. Monique was looking for you. Mm. Why do you even date her anyway? She's hot. It's a guy thing. Yo, is that her real brother or something? Know, they really the look though. just alike. And they almost got like the same yeah. facial yeah. features and stuff. Like facial structure, I mean. Where are you going? London. My band got a slot in a music festival there. Could you just like tell them I'm sick? Something good that sounds like it would last for two weeks like Mad Cow. Man, if only he was in 2020, he could have came up with a better excuse. You know the percentage of bands that actually make it to the big time? Probably the same as female soccer players. Damn. That was actually a nice comeback. He's at dad's. Bye, dad. I was just about to ask, where the hell is the dad at? Because this mom ain't shit. I really would like Amanda Bynes to come back into like the industry, but I think that she has like a really nice voice for like uh, voice acting and stuff. I'm going to Hilaria Sebastian. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the boys soccer team there. And then in 12 days, I'm gonna beat the Cornwall boys That's team. You know I can do it, Paul. Yeah. Oh, come on, Paul. Yeah, come on, Paul. You know people stupid. Oh, here we go, the montage. Hell yeah. They don't do these no more. Yeah, the fake laughter and the pop music or rock music, whatever. What's with the Freaking facial hair, though. How will you make it on your own? <laughs> I, I really think Amanda Bynes probably did that in real life. Mom, I told you I'm going to dad's house for two weeks. So, what was the whole point of that montage? It seemed like y'all didn't do anything, really. I guess they just wanted a montage, just to have a montage. Back in the early 2000s, they had to uh, check off some boxes, you feel me? Nowadays, they gotta check off different boxes. <laughs> What 
What's with that hairstyle that looks awful? You got the sideburns and everything. Let me hear the voice. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Oh, Show me the no. <laughs> what the f is that? No, looks like Elvis. Remember, inside every girl, there's a boy. Oh, no, no, bro. No. <laughs> Hey, what you want me? Yeah, I leave. I think everybody's staring at her because she looking like she on drugs, like she tripping out. Whoa, is this a high school? What is this? I'm a badass drunken dude. <laughs> Yo, bro, her facial expressions are hilarious. Hey. Oh, snap, Chetty Tatum. What up? <laughs> you Look like this girl is What's freaking like She's lunatic or something. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's a good handshake. You feel me? I skipped a couple grades. I'm brilliant. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you know when a uh, soccer track? <laughs> Yo, if I was there, I'd be like, man, that's not something a dude Absolutely. would say, bro. World's greatest detectives. Hey, what, why do you have tampons in your boot? I get really bad nosebleeds. So you stick them up your nose? What? That's the excuse yeah. you come Right in. <laughs> <laughs> this girl Amanda Bynes is going all out in this movie, man. It's like a crazy performance, bro. It's like a clown or something. But it's like no disrespect, though. You know, she's just having so much fun with it, which is a good thing. That's all that matters. Pardon me, sir. I have to be a shirt. I'm allergic to the sun. I mean, you're allergic very, to the sun, or your face is exposed to the, the sun right now. Yo, what's up with the directing right here, bro? Seems like this stuff is gonna give me like uh, motion sickness. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yo, I wish I could handle a soccer ball like that. I've only played soccer once. Bro, you telling me she did not have a heat stroke out here? Thanks. No shout for you. Principal Gold wants to see you in his office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you have to take a shower, though. Sebastian's file. The fact that you're able to do that and they don't have the drawer like locked or anything, that's crazy. Headmaster. So <laughs> Why does that dude look like the old man from the Six Flags commercials? Head ass. Okay. Okay, you busted. <laughs> I know you don't want to sit here and talk to the headmaster, but I'm not going to take no for an answer. Now have a sit in the headmaster's chair. Come on, have a sit. Wow. For real? Thank you, sir. I appreciate the hospitality. <laughs> Yo, what's Thank up you with your magician looking ass, me. man? Oh. You know, it's a romantic comedy. You feel me? You gotta bump into somebody. Male, female dynamics. It's all part of the high school experience. No, it's, I mean, uh, I guess, man. Ooh, cute shoes. Oh, you think so? I got my anthropology. No way, they have shoes there? Aw. Oh. <clears throat> Here are your books. <laughs> I think she can see right through you, bro. I don't know. Hey, dudes. <laughs> Mind if I join? Dang, that is a big Pepsi. That's how you know this movie is sponsored by Pepsi. And then, so this dude got a Pepsi can. Yo, she's the man sponsored to you by Pepsi. I said that completely wrong. Look, she's the man brought to you by Pepsi. There you go. Is your sister hot? Uh, she's got a great personality. Ew. Oh, nah, that turned him off right there. <laughs> you can't tell him that. They want to know if they got the booty or the tits. Check out the booty on that blonde. Are you talking about the pancake? Talking about that wall? Talking about that table that's standing up? Yo, they got some of the most generic people in this movie, bro. It's hilarious. Baloney is 38% hoof. Thanks. Oh my God, he's definitely generic. Probably the generic spoiled douchebag, bro. Like that's the first thing you say when we get introduced to you. That's how you know you generic. You think you know someone and you realize it's all been a big lie. Every touch, every kiss. <laughs> I was about to say, nobody trying to hear that lovey dovey shit. Damn, you gonna let them take your Pepsi though? That was a cool swipe though, because that Pepsi was looking good. These are the only showers? Take a shower. I can take a shower. <laughs> hey, if you feeling the groove, girl, go ahead. Damn! <laughs> Damn, I would love to do something like that. How do you even do that? Hey, you forgot this, Coolio. Word G money. What? Oh, she said word G money. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> G 
Golly. Yo, you need to sell that, man. God damn. Go! Get your oh, she looks so cute. Oh, she looks like a Disney princess. She looks so beautiful. And that girl right there must be a beast, bro. Cause I know it's probably really difficult to move in that dress. Damn, I know that had to hurt. Bro, what is up with freaking fraternities and stuff? Wanting the freaking newbies and stuff to get naked, bro. Like, golly. Yo, them dudes were so freaking focused on seeing them other dudes naked. They wasn't focused on her slide, uh, crawling on the floor and everything. Hey, Sebastian. Hey. Here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. New school, new baby. Yeah. What? What is she saying, man? The way she get this slang from? Like she coming up with this stuff on the spot. <laughs> I've seen her in a movie before. I forget what it was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, who's this one? Now? Don't worry about it. Just know that I got multiple. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nah, you have to smack it harder than that. Come on now. It's like Amanda Bynes is going about this whole character like she's on the show, all that. Girls with asses like mine do not talk to boys with faces like yours. <laughs> Sebastian, keep away from me. What is she even doing here? Well, I guess because they went, they go to the same school or something. I see you for what you truly are, which is ugly. <laughs> Whoa, really they cheering and stuff? That is freaking outrageous, bro. Damn, that's so funny. How long did you date that girl for anyway? Too long. Ball and freaking chain, man. This accent is like really <laughs> taking me out the movie sometimes. I'm not saying it like a negative, I'm just saying like it is behind hilarious, bro. Oh, you know her? Talked to her for like a second. About what? She gave you the nod, dude. Yeah, she did a good one too. Yeah, she gives good nod. Couldn't <laughs> oh, Did y'all catch that? <laughs> They were so worried about him knowing her or her knowing her that they didn't kiss that dude, bro. You tell me you've been getting some head from her, dude. You need to chill out, man. I thought that was that dude's ex. The other dude, Chain and Tatum. I'm going to be the best lab partner you ever had. I'm, I'm glad that you got gold. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's good to have a mission. What's this? Poem? Lyrics. Those are really good. Are you sure? Or are you just saying it because you like me? Yeah, that sound effect that she made was just so funny. Did you say anything about me? No, was no? I why would the hell did I have to say something about you? You can convince her to go out with me. You do this, I'll work with you on your soccer. You're the man. Yes, I am. Yeah, we ain't worried about these girls, you feel me? Yeah, you trying to be like David Beckham? I didn't know she was wearing a wig. Bro, you need to talk to her yourself, man. You're Channing Tatum. You feel me? I know this is before Magic Mike, but like, come on, man. Oh, for real? That's what you like? What the hell? What? You need to give somebody a warning. Why are you shaped? I, I guess to, you know, keep up that persona. Oh. <laughs> You gotta fall, man. It's not believable if you don't fall. It's that type of pain. Like that's how you. That's the only way a dude can like really fall to his knees instantly, man. Unless you knock him out, or break his leg, or punch him really hard in the stomach, or hit him in the back of the knee. Is that? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Walk. Are you really talking to the spider, and the spider is talking back? Trouble with your wig, Hastings? Uh, no. Um, I actually I have a scalp condition. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, uh, you can't no, lie to him. He's don't. bald. You've got male pattern baldness. I thought he was actually gonna be smart for a second. I mean, he kind of was. He knew it was a wig. You know, I think you're the first guy at the school who hasn't tried anything with me. <laughs> Trust me, you're not my type. Oh, <laughs> dang, shut this down. Now she's gonna try to work her way up to be your type. I don't think of you in that way. We're friends, you know. Damn, put you in the friend zone, baby. I feel the same way about you. Oh, well, that's nice that you said that, though. I think that's the spleen. Hmm. I've never dissected anything. I've wanted to like forever, man. But I think I might pass out if I see some organs or whatever. I'm not really good at talking to girls. Why? You're hot. What? <clears throat> you know, you're an appealing guy, man. Guy, guy, man. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know. I just always say the wrong. I just always say the wrong thing. 
Yo, I'm probably about to start calling dudes that guy man. See? See what? We're flowing. What we're talking about cheese. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. At least you're talking. And if you can get her to smile and laugh, that's you in there. I'll be just like him, except I'll be screaming like a bitch. Yo, like I'm not scared of spiders, but like a tarantula, bruh? Uh-uh, man. That's a whole different game. This movie's pretty cool so far, you feel me? It's nice to just relax and enjoy a film like this, you know? You couldn't get in any other one? Monique's getting you all excited about being a debutante, huh? Super duper excited. What What is that? What, what was that lisp? Or was that just her being sarcastic? I think Amanda Bynes is naturally a sarcastic person. Viola, where you been? I've been calling and calling. I miss you. We need to talk. Yo, do not talk to me when you got your freaking collars sticked up like that, bro. That's douchebag 101 right there. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's like that joke. What did the five fingers say to the face? Damn, the ride is that long? And nobody else is seeing this? <laughs> that girl was looking like, bro, if you don't get this off of me, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Yo, this is so freaking stressful. Having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, that, that does seem like something that's fun, but uh, I don't know if you want to do that around some kids, man. She's only kissed like 350 guys at this point. 350 guys? Ew! Why do they have a kissing booth with an underage girl? Oh, hell no! Beware of the old guy chewing gum. It's not gum. <laughs> the boy's like, ooh, man, I can't wait to go again. Yeah, weirdo ass. You don't have to flirt with her first, okay, genius? You're paying for it. <laughs> Golly, little man. Shoot, you a little bit too young to be acting like that. Do act like he was uh he was used to messing with like strippers and uh hookers and stuff like that. I'm trying to warm her up and everything, you feel me? Especially if it's a girl I'm attracted to, you know? I'm trying to get up in there, get that number and stuff. <laughs> Why are you making it more difficult? Oh, uh, what the f <laughs> What the hell was that? That looked gross at first. I think that was one ticket to my first. Mm, oh shoot. Making out with my girlfriend. Ex girlfriend. I'm gonna see you on the soccer field and we'll settle this all then. Nah, you should have whooped his ass. Cause a dude like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, a dude like that will like injure you on the field, bruh. Come on, you can't let that boy sucker punch you, man. <laughs> Fire! Stop! This isn't ladylike. This isn't ladylike? You was about to have her kiss like so many other dudes? For what? Just disappeared. Brand my psycho ex had to bolt. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. I uh, hope you don't mind. I kind of barred one of your. Yeah. I can't believe he actually did that. <laughs> I didn't think he was actually gonna do that, man. You kissed her? Yeah, man, I'm, I hope that's okay. If you wanna kiss her, you go right ahead and you kiss her. Knock yourself out, I mean, take her and then kiss don't, her and then don't. kiss the crap out of her. I, I know she's really feeling like kissing him again right now, but like, chill out, man, you in character. If you look up the word goofy in the dictionary, Amanda Bynes will come up, bro. This girl is crazy right here, man. Why do you always talk about girls in such graphic terms? Huh? That's how you liked me at first. What are you talking about? Now you acting all different, man. Get the hell up out of here. Unless he was just acting like that in front of his friends. But what I just told you is for your ears only. If you tell anyone, I'll kick your ass. Yeah, sure you would, bro. You got your ass whooped. Do you even know how to fight? Yeah. See, these are the type of movies I grew up with besides like action movies, but I've only watched like the same movies over and over again. I didn't really try to uh, widen my horizon. I was very close-minded growing up. Okay, I don't know what's going on right here. Why they acting like she don't know how to play soccer, but in the beginning of the movie, she was killing it. Like her aim was on point. <laughs> Girl, do some work. Your first string for the Cornwall game. Really? No. I was joking, you idiot. Damn, why you had to just put me down like that, coach? Come on now. What the f <laughs> 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 
Bro, that probably had to be the funniest thing in this movie, man. Yeah, Amanda Bynes' physical comedy is just like on a whole nother level. She's really carrying this movie on her back. Like, I understand the performances are like ass, but when it comes to the comedy, it's, it's pretty cool. What are you bench pressing these days, Duke? Wow, really? It's like that now? <laughs> like 20, 20. Yo, I know you you would have fell to the ground <laughs> to something like that, man. I know that hurts. I, I think that that was, I don't even think he actually meant to do that. This is messed up that you had to do that right then and there. I understand that you were trying to make Sebastian jealous, but like, come on now. I really hope that you're not going to try to go on a date with both of them in the same night. Keep an eye on me. We could double. Uh, with Eunice. Yo, oh, you're just looking good, okay? Got her hair done and everything. This is messed up. She does not deserve this, bro. She looking nice. I don't know why you're acting like she ugly just because she got braces. Do you like cheese? More than almost any other animal by perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check, please. Hey, no, man, show her a good time, man. She get all dressed up and everything, you feel me? Come on. I, I would have showed her a good time. And I would have let her know what's going on. Like, you know, I don't see you in that way, but since what happened is completely messed up, you know, you look really nice, you, you feel me? Let's just enjoy ourselves, you know? And there's nothing wrong with getting to know each other, you feel me? <laughs> of course she would do something like that. Are you acting this way on purpose, girl? You're making that turkey leg look good, though. Is she tearing that shit up. <laughs> I have this huge thing for his roommate, Sebastian, and I was just trying to make Sebastian jealous. I don't even know why she couldn't see that. You know, with her being a girl, she know the whole play. But I guess because she was jealous already because she wanted to be with Duke. When he smiles, I just can't stop looking at him. He's just so wonderful. <laughs> No, she's not you blushing know, right here. I'm gonna tell him how I feel. You tell yeah. him, and then I'm gonna kiss him so passionately. What? <laughs> Yo, Amanda Bynes has such an expressive face, but it's basically because of how she grew up, you know? Like her acting background and everything. I know she's done a lot of improv class and stuff, and I think she's done a lot of stage work and everything. So being on stage, you gotta express yourself a whole lot more than being in front of a camera. <laughs> Yo, that sounds like a horror movie screen. Oh, clothesline. Oh, uh, you already know Viola definitely gonna whoop your ass. Oh, ah, damn. Felt that one. Dang, they fighting each other, but they still look good. When debutantes disagree, they say it with their eyes. Oh, no, we definitely said it with our eyes, but we added a little extra in there, too. You know, you know some slaps, some kicks, some trips, some choking. Heels are a male invention designed to make a woman's butt look smaller. What? And to make it harder for them to run away. What? Have you ever tried to run away in high heels? No, sir. I, Not I that easy. Not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> so you a cross dresser, sir? I can feel it in your kiss. Is that even her brother? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, at least you playing along. That's what's up. I really don't even know what you're talking you know about. Don't save it, man. Look, I saw you with her. With who? Tom Olivia, that's who. Uh, all right. I mean, at least you're trying to get that emotion out. Okay. That is not what happened. No, you, you and your sister have a good life. Dude. Wow, it's crazy how quick all this stuff just fell apart. So much is falling apart all at once. Take this stupid cell phone. Justine calls you every 10 seconds. You tell me you left your phone in the room? Allow me to introduce myself. I mean, like, you always gonna have that freaking pretentious douchebag who'd be the villain, but him as the villain was pretty sorry. And it's just him finding all this stuff out was just so random and it just fell into his lap. But the thing that really gets me is just the fact that he suspected something was wrong. What made him suspect something was wrong this whole time? I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or whatever, but that makes no damn sense. That's probably the worst thing about this movie. In the early 2000s, a lot of these romantic comedies all, like, went through the same flow when it comes to the story. Now we better have this sad montage and stuff. Eunice, why didn't you wake me? You looked so serene. Oh, this girl is f crazy. Oh my God, I was trying to be nice and everything. And I thought you were sweet and everything. Oh my God, get away from me. Look like that girl about to turn into a serial killer or something. Y'all really wearing makeup for this game. I don't think that's such a good idea. Then the makeup could get in your eye and stuff. How's your job? Nah, you snuck me, boy. I bet you if you didn't snuck me, I would have freaking whooped your ass. And I've been stomping on your head, boy. Oh, okay. Look at the footwork. So her brother doesn't play. Get in here. Get in the ball. This is my dream. What the hell am I doing here? 
Oh my god, that one almost freaking made me pass out, man. That was so funny. I am grievously sad to inform you that Sebastian Hastings is a girl. I'm not a girl. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, in fact, yes, he is. He's a <laughs> now you're just making a fool of yourselves. Prove it. Okay. Bro, do not show him your ding and ling in front of. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, the way everybody reacted, they were surprised. They like, I mean, they real impressed. Dude, well, I can see why he wasn't ashamed to show it off. Dude, I know if it was me, if I had to show my thing and laying out, you feel me? I'll probably, you know, I wouldn't hesitate either, you feel me? Dude, I'll probably go ahead and lean on it, you feel me? <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach, I'm ready to play. I've seen little girls in tutus kick the ball better than you. I changed. Yeah, literally, sir. Now, I wonder if they actually have like a real soccer game going on. Cause you know, in movies like this, they'll have the, make it seem like they're playing the sport, but they'll be like so sorry playing the sport. <laughs> Boy, talking all that mess, bro. Scored on you. I would've did the DX on his ass. Okay, so you, hey, you better chill out, man. I almost broke your back right there. I know you're mad at me. Don't talk to me. You know what? Oh no, he did not just mush you, bro. I would have freaking socked his ass, bro. Oh, that boy speared him. Or did he get DDT? I don't know. Boy, Channing Tatum got a lot of uh, testosterone. And what the hell you gonna do, boy? You over there limping and shit. <laughs> I appreciate the support, but sit your ass down. Here's the truth. I love you. I'm not Sebastian. I'm Viola. Yeah, I'm gonna say, why don't you do this first, man? So it wouldn't be like awkward and embarrassing. My brother came home early and <laughs> you just want the game to be over with, bro. Just because you wear a wig doesn't prove you're a girl. Okay then. Oh, oh damn. Oh, she got a nice pair. Yo, these parents, they got some good genetics, man. <clears throat> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say I told you so, but I just, ow. I just wanted to prove that I was good enough. All I'm asking for is a chance. I mean, that's up to the coach. That's not up to him. I think the best chance for us to be great here today is to have you play. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, where the hell are you going with that, bro? But all right, cool. You have to forfeit. There's no girls in this league. Here, look in the manual. You and Aleria, we don't discriminate. God, Lee, you going right. deep into that chest. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit it. I mean, at least this movie does have a message to it, though. You don't want to put a, your hair in a ponytail? Then that's when your hair is getting all up in your eyes and stuff. I mean, I understand that they got a stunt double in, but like, come on now. That's not a foul, he got all ball! What are you talking about? She almost broke her neck. How do you not care about this child's life right here? The way her eyes are looking right here, bro, this is sexy as hell, man. You can just see how determined she is. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that boy gonna be feeling that tomorrow. There's somebody I want you to officially meet. Sebastian Hastings, Olivia Lennox. I mean, I understand that you like my brother, but my brother is not me. So how do you know if it's gonna work out? You feel me? I think you are amazing. Nah, you don't know her, man. That girl gonna tie you up to a chair, bro. <laughs> Why are you whimpering like a dog? <laughs> you were gonna go to a spot like that all by yourself? I'm sorry, I'm a little too paranoid. I can't do something like that. Especially like, that looks like that's a weirdo coming up. Say something. I gotta turn the sprinklers on. Oh, bro. Hey, I thought this dude was about to kidnap me. Oh wait, actually no, this is like a gated like area, right? They got walls up and stuff. So what brings you here? Well, mm, I don't know. Just wanted ago. to check out this lake. Why the hell you think I'm here? I miss my roommate. <laughs> I really liked him. He's right in here. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, I'm sorry. I was kind of thinking dirty. I'd be like, shoot, I'd like to meet him. You feel me? <laughs> oh my god. Everything would just be a lot easier if you stayed a girl. Hmm. Yes. 
So now you know how to talk to girls. This whole movie, this dude didn't know how to talk to a damn girl. Now he all suave and like he James Bond. At the beginning of this movie, I really didn't think he was a douche, but then like throughout the whole movie, he just became more of a douche. I guess my hairstyle senses wasn't catching on. Cause you know, I can tell who somebody is by just their hairstyle. Yo, that dress is a Wow, wow, that dress got me speechless, bro. I can't think of the right words. Girl, you need to put your hair in a ponytail or in a bun or something, man. Man, can we focus on the game, please? <laughs> hey, y'all gonna be too busy cuddled up and caked up and stuff. Like, we gotta win the game. Ah, damn, we down three. <laughs> This was such an enjoyable movie, bro. Okay, everybody, and that was She's the Man, bro. I really enjoyed this movie. I did not think I was gonna like this movie this much. Just watching this movie brought back so many memories of me in my childhood, watching movies like this. The performance of Amanda Bynes, how expressive she was, how over the top she was, how goofy she was, just added so much onto this movie. Like if you actually take it serious, the acting is not good, but I understand there's gonna be a lot of people in my comments like, oh, you gotta look at it from this point of view and all this stuff, you can't look at it like, but I understand like all film is subjective and everything like that. Everybody likes what they likes and all this stuff, but it's whatever. I felt like the only person that gave somewhat a good performance was Amanda Bynes, even though she was completely over the top. Uh, but it just like, I gave her a pass cause I, I knew exactly what she was doing. She was just trying to go for laughs the side cast they did okay I mean it was all right like there was some times like you can see the potential in Channing Tatum that's why you know he's such a big star now and you know he's doing good in comedies now the writing in this movie it was cool it was all right the soundtrack was really good the directing was probably one of the worst parts of this movie I mean like it was still an entertaining movie love to laugh and I know y'all love to laugh with me uh, I'm thinking about doing like the good boys or whatever you know and then that's when I got to do Ted but I cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts when it comes to this movie where do y'all rank this when it comes to like y'all rom-coms or whatever i know some people are probably gonna say this is not a rom-com but i hope that you enjoyed watching this movie with me and you enjoyed this video please like share comment down below subscribe click the bell so you know when i upload more videos and then follow me on all my social medias the links will be down in the description below like instagram twitter discord twitch all that type of stuff and if you want to see my full length reaction to this movie any of the other movies i do you can click the link down below in my description to my patreon you know i also do tv shows too as well and i'll go ahead and give this movie a 7 a plus but with all that being said i'll see you on the next one all right peace